In this problem, we want to find the area of the shaded region. Now, it's telling us that the graph depicts the standard normal distribution with mean 0 and standard deviation 1. So, this was some of the properties of standard normal distribution. So, mean was equal to 0, standard deviation was equal to 1. And the graph has to be bell-shaped. <coughs> bell so, now, when we're trying to find the area of the shaded region, we're given the z-score. We want to figure out what's that area... And in this particular problem, what's that area to the left of the z-score? So the old way of doing this is you have tables that you can use to try to figure it out. But now technology has made that a whole lot easier. We're going to take a look at how to use StatCrunch to find the area to the left of the z-score. So uh, Let me go ahead and do a side-by-side -side view. So now in StatCrunch, you're going to go to Stat. You go to Calculators and then go to Normal. So stat, calculators, normal, okay. Now we have a mean of zero, standard deviation of one. And now since this is the area to the left, the shaded region is that left side, I'm gonna put probability of X is less than or equal to, and I'm gonna type in my Z-score right over here. So I have 0 0.59, click on compute, and now this is the area to the left of that Z-score. So now it's telling me to round to four decimal places, so I have 0 0.7224.